Hello everyone, Ray again here, and this is our continuation about Philippine law. These presidential decrees were issued during martial law by then President Ferdinand E. Marcos Sr. Knowing this regulation offers a thorough insight into their influence in our life and society. Hence, it's vital to at least read these presidential decrees as they significantly shape our everyday existence. Whether you are a student, a professional, or one interested in keeping informed, this video is created to provide you the list of Republic Acts from the very beginning and also with the presidential decrees during the time of martial law. The laws are being posted here on my channel on installment basis and kindly just check it out for your information. By enhancing our legal awareness, we not only reduce the potential for legal complications but also ensure our actions are in line with established regulations promoting a law-abiding and informed community. All the Republic Act posted on the Philippine Supreme Court's e-library from the beginning until February 2024 had already been posted on my channel. You can check it out directly from my playlist to view all of them. This presidential decree will also be posted on my playlist. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. In doing so, you will be helping me and then you will also be notified for more insightful content every time an upload is made. This video will benefit you in more ways than one. If you are a student pursuing legal studies, this will save you time and money. My list exclusively showcases laws available on the Supreme Court's website, maintaining a sequential and thoroughly reviewed numbering system. Since a request was made to have at least a guide for an information on the omitted presidential decree, I am posting herewith the decree not found on the Supreme Court's e-library for your convenience. The decree was searched online. I request your own discretion to review the subject decree since this is not coming from the Supreme Court's e-library. The posted decree not available on the Supreme Court's e-library is being highlighted in different colors for easy comparison with the ones from the e-library website. In summary, the benefits of reading Philippine laws extends across various aspects of life. Legal literacy enhances overall well-being and equips individuals to navigate the complexities of both personal and professional life. So don't forget to check out the video description down below to get to know the presidential decree from the years 1977 to 1981. Each highlighted clickable link will directly connect you to the Supreme Court of the Philippines e-library page for the specific presidential decree. You have what you need within your fingertips awaiting for your exploration. Your feedback is invaluable to me. Sharing your comments helps me improve a bet and better cater to your needs. And I do really thank you so much for visiting my website. And I wish you the best in your endeavors.